Hey, what's up everyone? TJ here. We're out at Mammoth Mountain with Snowboard Mag doing a free ride board test. And today we're checking out the Never Summer Proto FR. I'm gonna go through all the tech you're gonna find in this board. I'll share some feedback on how it's feeling out on snow. And if you wanna read even more details, you can check out the feature on snowboardmag.com. I'll have that linked down in the description below. Let's check it out. All right, for reference, before we jump into the tech, I'm five foot 10, I weigh around 155 pounds, and I rode this snowboard in a 160. So the Proto FR is gonna be a free ride and all mountain focused snowboard on the Never Summer lineup. It does have a directional design, so you're gonna get a directional outline in this snowboard with a slightly longer nose than tail outside the front contact points, giving you more surface area up front as well as a slight taper. You're gonna get a five millimeter taper in the snowboard. So the tail is a little bit more narrow than the nose, reducing the surface area in the back of the snowboard, as well as a 19 millimeter setback. So the insert packs where you mount your bindings are shifted closer to the tail of the snowboard, naturally keeping your weight further back. All those things are gonna to work together to enhance the overall experience in powder and soft snow. You're also gonna find Never Summer's triple camber profile on this snowboard. That's probably one of the most unique aspects about this board. And basically that profile is gonna give you a small camber zone right in between the feet, going into rocker, uplifting the tip and tail, back into camber underfoot, and then a rocker release in the tip. So got a lot going on there, uh, but basically you have camber under both feet and camber in the middle. That's why it's called triple camber. And the way this feels is a little bit more locked in a little more precise it wants to track straighter compared to other rocker camber profiles in the never summer lineup where you have a little bit of a looser feel with that pivot point between the feet uh, this board is going to have a totally different feel to it compared to what you might be used to from never summer it also runs their power grip side cut which is some mellow contact points added in the side cut of this snowboard to help give you more grip on ice or firm conditions and keep you more in control as well as a lot of carbon built into the layup of this snowboard which is a lightweight added additive to help give the board more energy. You're going to find an X pattern between the feet, which is going to stiffen the board up torsionally and give it a burlier feel and make it more responsive edge to edge, as well as carbon in both the tip and the tail to give it a little more energy and snap for ollies and things like that. There's also multiple dampening technologies built into this snowboard to help smooth out the ride and iron out any chatter or vibrations you might get as well as a sintered base, which is known to be a higher end base material that's harder, faster, and more durable compared to an extruded base. But you do wanna make sure to wax it regularly to maintain a nice fast glide out there. And that's gonna be it for a quick tech breakdown. Let's get into how this board feels out on snow. All right, let's start off talking about the flex. I'd say it's definitely gonna be on the stiffer side of medium, getting quite stiff. And the personality is gonna be more on the aggressive side of the spectrum. It's a very powerful snowboard. The feel kind of reminds me of the Proto Ultra, but in a directional shape. This is gonna be a very energetic snowboard as well. Pretty much any tension you're able to load up in this board, it's gonna give right back. It's gonna offer a lot of pop. It's gonna have a very snappy feel to it. And when it comes to butters and flat ground type tricks, you are gonna be working against that stiffer flex and the additives in this snowboard to get any kind of presses going. So it's gonna be more challenging to find those balance points. And it does have a very precise feel to it. So I'd be paying close attention to your edges for that kind of stuff to make sure you're not catching up. And generally it's not gonna be the most butter friendly uh, just because of how aggressive and how precise this board is. I also wanna talk about the carving experience on the Proto FR. And there's two specs I wanna highlight. First is the waist width. So at a 160, you're gonna get a 25.8 centimeter waist, which is decently wide and has a good feel for carving, as well as a 7.6 meter side cut, which is pretty average and gonna have a comfortable feel at a wide variety of speeds. And when it comes to carving, this is a board that's gonna keep you in control even at higher speeds. It's gonna offer a lot of stability and a very powerful feel. It's gonna be able to power through more variable chopped up snow conditions and keep you in control. And even as you start to push this snowboard, you're not really gonna be getting any chatter in the tips. It's one of the biggest highlights for me in the Proto FR, and I think makes it a great choice if you have a more aggressive style for a free ride approach to exploring the mountain. And while we didn't have any fresh snow out at Mammoth for the test, unfortunately, 
Uh, I think with all the directional aspects and the design of this one, you know, the taper, the setback, the directional outline, as well as the rocker and the profile, this thing is gonna come through with a pretty good feel in soft snow. We got a bunch of park laps on the Proto FR as well. And as far as that goes, I'd say this board is gonna be more jump leaning. It's gonna offer a lot of stability, a lot of energy, a lot of pop, which is a lot of fun for freestyle focused riding. Uh, definitely not gonna be very jib oriented for more like technical pressed out type tricks. And with the directionality in this board, I'd say it's probably better suited for hunting down natural features around the resort and things like that, but uh, isn't gonna be the worst choice for some park laps if you do find yourself in there with your friends. Overall, I'd say the biggest highlights for me in this one is the stability and how powerful it is, as well as the unique feel of the triple camber you're gonna find in it. So if you're looking for something that's a little more aggressive and gonna have a very precise feel as you're out there exploring, the Proto FR could be a good choice. If you want to read more about this snowboard i'll have it linked down in the description below and if you've had a chance to ride it let us know what you think about it down in the comments you can leave any questions for me down there as well drop a like if you got some value subscribe to the channel if you're new here i appreciate you guys thank you for watching and i will see you in a new board review next time take care everybody